I recently posted a stream of me playing EV.io and for the sake of this video I'm going to be calling it EBO but the audio is terrible so here we are. Many of you might remember goofing off in your computer classes and playing browser based games. It honestly was the highlight of several of my days. From sites like Frib to stick figure games there were many places to unwind after a long Thursday at school. One of my favorite destinations was none other than addicting games. This browser based gaming website was extremely popular throughout the early 2000s and now boasts over 10 million daily active users on their website. Today, you'll find out why you should at least be paying some attention to EVO. Let's dive in. So, let's start with the creators. Like I said, Addicting Games has been around for over 15 years and was a prime destination for any kid in class during the early 2000s. The website features thousands upon thousands of games from independent developers around the globe. They found massive traction in the space boasting a wide collection of games from sports to mobile games. To think such a legendary household name is finally producing its own titles is amazing. Addicting Games currently releases games every Thursday and adds features and updates based on what's trending. They have built a strong presence via their Patreon over the years and surely know what makes an addicting gaming experience from years in that exact industry. This leads us to EV.io. There are a lot of things I enjoy about this project and I believe Addicting Games being the ones bringing this to fruition is simply icing on the cake. EV.io or EVO is a free to play browser based shooter. It can be played in first person and third person and it takes a lot of inspiration from games like Overwatch and Halo. To play the game all you have to do is go to EV.io and you're in. You can play as a guest as much as you want or register an account to record your stats and start earning coin for the store. On the surface, this game looks like any other shooter. However, the sheer effort and polish that this game has already received is easily seen. This game reminds me so much of early Fortnite and Overwatch days. It has a nice spin on a common genre and to top it all off, you can play it anywhere on any desktop device. I would do more in-depth videos on game mechanics, but in EVO, there is no pay to win. Every player loads in with the same weapon and gets to choose from the same loadouts. The store contains cosmetics and skins just like you would see in Call of Duty or Fortnite. They offer no competitive advantage in the game, but soon NFT cosmetics will be added. More on that later. I think my favorite part about this game is how easy it is to get in and out of games. That true essence of quick, enjoyable, addicting, and challenging gameplay come out when I play this game. These characteristics were practiced for years by the team behind EVO. In short, Addicting Games understands how to make an addicting game. Most matches last 5 minutes, at the longest, 10. There are currently 4 modes to choose from. Go 1v7 in deathmatch. 4v4 in team deathmatch, 4v PvE, kind of like a zombie mode or what they like to call it, the survival mode. And then of course you have the battle royale where you can jump in and get ready to be the last man standing. You can change your loadout at any time and dying equates to you sitting out of the lobby needing to click to spawn again. The maps are large yet not too big where you don't run into enemies. They are also tall allowing for you to enjoy all of the maneuvers you can make in the game. Y yeah, you can triple jump in this game. I haven't had this much genuine fun playing a game in a long time. I streamed again today and found out you can easily create a party and share the code with others very similar to an Among Us room. It was very easy to play with my viewers and lots of fun catching W's. Even so, there are some things I'm not that big a fan of and I would like to see improved. Before I mention that though, make sure to hit the like button so more people can find out about this amazing game. So even though I have a few gripes, they are mainly suggestions. The first is in how many bots seem to be roaming around. There were games where I saw players just walking off the map. I know there are going to be trolls and people just messing around, but the matchmaking is one thing to look for improvements around. Sorry for the bait, but that's literally all I dislike about the game so far. If you know anything about the content I make, you know we cover tons of NFT games. These games are truly the future because they employ a technology that favors the player. Addicting Games realized this and just recently kicked off their initiative to include in-game items available on the Solana blockchain. 
The most important thing to know about EVO NFT items is they do not give any competitive advantage. However, they do differ from normal cosmetics you can buy from the off-chain store. One way in which NFT cosmetics are different from their non-NFT counterpart is NFT cosmetics have a power level stat. This stat is measured from 0 to 100. The higher the item's power level, the more the skin will shine with lighting and particle effects. As of right now, this is the only current known benefit from owning NFT items in the game. It is hinted that those who hold NFT items may have access to game perks and features in the future. This can mean modes that let you earn other NFT items if I had to guess. If you want to buy NFT in the game, then there are a few ways to do so. The developers host several events that give you the opportunity to get whitelist tokens. With these tokens, you can redeem them when EVO decides to do an NFT drop. Just last week, the team added a special boss that was spawned when playing during Deathmatch. If you killed this boss, you received a whitelist token. There's definitely some RNG to this, so that's why another way to get a whitelist token is through their tournaments. Tournaments are going to be held by different organizations in the community, and I'll talk about them more in a minute. Addicting Games has also partnered with Team Luminosity, one of the biggest esport guilds, as well as HUD8, one of the largest crypto mining organizations. What does this mean? Well, both partnerships will produce tournaments, cosmetics, and lots of fun in the community. Most NFT gaming projects always like to include some form of LAN, and EVO is doing the same. Manage to get your hands on a social area and you will be a happy owner of EVO LAN. These social areas will be the only way for players to buy, sell, and trade NFT items. These hubs will be controlled by actual players in the community. I'll dive more into social areas as we get more information. More game modes are on the way, including the ability to create your own mini game and play public mini games in order to gain loot. The Hall of Champions is another mode coming that is a race focused mode. New competitions will pop up weekly and if you win in the Hall of Champions, you will earn access to a VIP area with exclusive NFT loot. This racing bit reminds me of something straight out of Ready Player One and the mini games, man, it's just reminding me of those Halo 3 days. I can't wait. Oh, and while I was making this video, EVO actually took down their non-NFT store so you can't actually buy non-NFT cosmetics right now. Make sure to join the Discord to get updates on when that'll be back up. EVO has me so excited for the future of gaming. To think I can easily load up this browser-based shooter and start playing with any of my friends instantly really shows just how far we've come. Just recently, the EVO team announced their partnership with Twitter co-founder led NFT marketplace Fractal. Fractal is actually hosting a NFT tournament to allow players to earn whitelist tokens in the game. More information on that in the Discord as well. I can't wait to get my hands on those NFT. What about you? Let me know in the comments below and hit that like button and smash that big red subscribe button to see more of my videos in the future. You won't regret it. As always, I love you guys and keep going.